you're a fascinating bloke because you are a doctorate of theology. Mm. I'm assuming that means so you have religious views. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Presbyterian minister. Practicing sort of? Yeah, I, I'm, um, you know. I, Do you have a label? I, I hate I was, labels. I, yeah, I'm a reverend. So I, I, um, I was going to say I... Um, Say I'm not religious about going. I'm not, the, you know. I, I have lots of calls on my time, so I, I'm not always in the same place every Sunday. But I, I go to go along to Knox Church quite regularly. So the thing that's interesting is you are what is described as left wing. I don't think New Zealand really has left wing like the world would describe left wing. Um, but let's say centre left in a political scene. Mm. You know, places like America, the right, very very strongly claims that religious kind of Christian based title. How does your um, your doctorate, your faith, your beliefs, your um, ethos around religion impact you and bring you to the position you are on more of the left than the right? Because the left are the evil bastards who like to kill babies in the womb and, you know, let the gays do whatever they want. So yeah. so, so the right in America would say, obviously I'm being facetious. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I do. I, I, I read the internet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, yeah, well, so I, I've grown up in the, Presbyterian Church. My mother was a Presbyterian elder, so I've always had a connection with the church, and um, and I trained for the Presbyterian ministry. Um, strong sense that that was the the thing that I needed to do, and uh, the, the the service I needed to provide in my in my life um, as a younger man. And um, and then I've had a sense that um, of, of in religious terms you'd call calling towards politics. After that, right? Um, uh, and and but. My um, upbringing um, as a Christian, and and uh, in terms of um, the education that I was fortunate to receive um, as part of my training, uh, has influenced uh, the way I think about the world. You know, I I, I look to the example of um, Jesus and the Bible and the things that he did and the the um, the life that he lived, and that's important to me as I think about um, how I go about. Uh, politics and the things that I do. It's not something I, you know, this, this is probably one of very few interviews where I, I canvass this. It's not something that I wear on my shoulder, I guess, well, on so, my sleeve. So, but so when it, you, of course it influences. It, all of us are influenced by when things you we look hold at, dear. When you look at that Jesus character in the Bible and how you interpret that, mm. because everyone, I think, would look at whatever character, be it a fictional character or a real character or a movie character, and they'd take something different from the story they see. Mm. Why is it that it obviously would be that you see something different in that character than, let's say, a and I'm not looking for you to comment on this person, but a right wing American politician who sees Jesus as someone who um, supports what their beliefs are, which is not giving free health care and putting a border wall up to block you know, the southern states. Yeah. So what, what's the different, what's, who's your Jesus? Yeah, well, the, I mean, uh, the Jesus I see in the in the Bible is one who's eating with outcasts, who's um, hanging out with the, the vulnerable, healing the sick and the, the weak, um, who says, blessed are the poor, um, you know, somebody with compassion uh, who um, goes out and serves others, you know, and, and I think um, when, when you kind of read the Bible, uh, the New Testament, um, it's hard not to see those things. A lot. Mm. Uh, the, the, I guess if you're asking me to compare to that person who's building walls and all of those things, I don't think you'll see Jesus if you actually read the, read the Bible. Um, you won't see Jesus doing those things. Mm. It's, it's um, there is a lot of stuff that's around the church that doesn't actually reflect what's in the Bible, in my view. He's probably on the other side of the wall, really. He's not even going to be on the side building the wall. He'll be on the other side of the wall with the, <laughs> with the illegal immigrants. Yeah. There's something so in that metaphor. I, I'm, um, I was going to do a cheesy meme. He builds bridges, not mm. walls. <laughs> um, I want to put words in your mouth now, and you can, you can say, no, that's wrong. But from the way you've described that, Jesus, he sits better on the left than the right. Um, to me, obviously, yeah. I, I mean, I Do you understand someone on the right having that? Following that um, same religious look, icon, I, I do think that people, you know, I, I've met people in Parliament who are on the other side of the house who are, who are earnest in their faith, mm-hmm. and and I don't question that they're earnest in their faith. You know, I think I think people do see things differently, um, uh, and it's interesting that the ones in the in the National Party, for example, that I know, um, I observe that they have some some real qualities that I that I can admire and identify with. There are mm-hmm. things that I completely disagree with them on. Uh, I, I need to be clear on that. Um, and, and I, you know, will challenge them on. And uh, but, but, I mean, actually within, 
um, the model of the, the, the kind of um, a faith community, that's what you're supposed to do. You're actually supposed to have each other on and say, well, how does this fit with the value system? You're supposed to be constantly trying to develop and, and grow and learn. Is this a downside? Is your is your faith a downside on the left of politics? I mean, because no, quite because quite no. often maybe maybe I'm being unfair here and I'm referencing, yeah. you know, university culture in America. Mm. But you know, if you're a Christian, if you've got that faith belief, then you can't be on the left because of those, you know, exaggerated things I just said, and people look down um, on the left often. Well, I won't say often because you only see a snapshot of society as being something that can't relate to it. I mean, if it's something that you you say you don't often talk about it, is that because it's a bit uncomfortable for people on the left to take on board this person with this no, message? Um, I think, you know, for me, one of the really important things, I guess, is the separation between church and state. Yep. Um, I, in part of my studies, looked at Nazi Germany where, um, where the state tried to take the church under its wing and uh, talk about religion and say that every, you know, every other thing was... Um, lined up with the vision of the state, including religion. Um, and I just don't believe that. I actually think the role of the church is to challenge um, governments, is to challenge right. um, you know, the, the status quo, and that, that's what Jesus did. He didn't, he didn't side with the, the, um, the rulers of the country and say this is how we're going to get things oh, well, done. Well, I, I think what a lot of people forget is he did the opposite. He turned Correct. up and basically pointed at the tax collectors and he pointed at the – well, he sat with the tax collectors. He, talk, he pointed at the church. He pointed at the Pharisees, which were the church, and went, you guys got it wrong – Yep. And went and sat with, as you say, the tax collectors, the prostitutes, the yep. the widows and the orphans. Exactly. And so um, so that, to me that means that part of what I'm not doing when I'm in my role as, um, as a minister in the Crown <laughs> is um, is I, I, I'm not um, saying, you know, that, that it's beyond critique because it's got religion involved. Um, actually, um, I'm a part of a body that is that is secularly constituted and the church has a role in challenging that. Um, and so it's, a, it's an interesting line to yeah. walk, to be honest. But yeah. but I, I'm very deeply uncomfortable with people who who wear their faith in positions of power um, to support their their ideology. I, yep. I I think that the ideology shouldn't be seen as you know religiously above criticism. So you wouldn't be in favour of um, like a Christian political party. Yeah, that, the Christian political parties make me nervous. Yeah, right. but but if you look across the the parliament and you look across the senior public service, yep. you'll find a lot of the people who are motivated to be serving the public yep. do have a Christian faith that sits underneath it. It's really interesting. They don't wear it on their sleeve, no. but there are a lot of people there who who have a faith and see that uh, in helping to create a better society, they are living out their faith. 